I'm into Swan Mountain Outfitters in Montana to do some black bear hunting. You know what I loved about these guys is they're just like me. They wanted to get out in the field just as quickly as possible and get hunting. As far as the habitat, most of the valley is, is great habitat for the bears. Certain areas tend to hold bears more, obviously getting up higher in the elevations where you know not many people get into or even down by the river bottoms, you know, where it's a main travel corridor. You just have to find a pocket where they're comfortable and, and stick with it and look for that good sign and never know what's around the next corner. So in the hunting industry, my philosophy is there's really two types of hunts, an experiential hunt and a harvest hunt. And when you look at public land outfitters in general, they ought to be in the business of an experience hunt because what they're bringing to the table is the riches of the land. But what also comes with that is the tremendous difficulty uh, required, the patience, and also accepting that there will be a lot of times where you walk away empty handed. Might be three or four days old. It's better than dried out poop. Turn right, we're getting closer. Buddy. Getting close. I'm getting pretty excited. I've never taken a black bear in Montana. You know, Montana's just, it's big sky country. It's beautiful. We have had a great hunt. We're on public land, and I really want to try and get a black bear here. Holy smoke. That's a good bear. That is a big boar. Chocolatey yeah, too. chocolate color. Look at the bear behind that one. That's a boar and a sow. That's a bigger bear behind it. It's a good bear. It's a great bear. How do we get to that rascal? Oh, it's awesome. I think it's every outfitter's dream, and certainly this outfitter's dream, that their clients are successful. That can't always happen in a free chase hunt. So in bear season, I mean, it can happen at any time. It doesn't matter if it's early morning, late evening, middle of the hottest part of the day. Bears will move just about at any time, and so they were out in force today. Fred, there's another bear below the cinnamon. All of a sudden, Sean's like, there's another bear, and it's a lot closer. Okay, Fred, he's at 660. 660? Uh-huh. Moving left to right, right at the end of the log. So he really walked me right into the bear, and then it was a matter of me getting comfortable, watching my breathing, and trying to pull off a good shot. <sighs> so I knew Fred had right, I'm on. the proper equipment to make a long shot. Okay, I'm off stake. You ready? And so if he was comfortable with the shot, I was comfortable with the shot. Take him when you're ready. He told me that 700 was about his limit. We found the bear at 660. So it was just right there. Hit. Talk to me. Hit. Going right. Moving right. 60 yards. Is he going down? He's down. He's down. <laughs> just Did rolled I just over. shoot my first bear in Montana? Just rolled over. He's down. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, heading to Montana is always fun because it's beautiful country. But where Pat has his outfit at Swan Mountain Outfitters and the Swan Valley was absolutely beautiful. I got to see some amazing country, some beautiful views, just a ton of different animals. Happy to see you. I actually got to take a black bear home and I came away with a real appreciation for not only Pat, everything they do here, but also really respect to the fact that it's a family run business. They're all great people and I was pretty dang impressed with Swan Mountain Outfitters.